Welcome back. This is episode four of the Solo to SSL series, the series where I show you exactly how I rank up as a top 0.1% player with over 3K hours in the game myself. In this one, we're going to be climbing through the bottom of champ. So if you're around champ one or looking to climb through, this episode is for you. By the way, for those of you who are below GC watching right now, my coaching program designed to take players from gold through champ up to GC is now nearly sold out. Since apparently Jack joined as head coach, we've now got almost 2,000 players in the program and almost 100 of our 125 seats taken for upcoming January launch. So if you want to beat the rush before we sell out and go on pause until spring of 2023, DM me on Discord with the keyword before and we can talk through the details. My Discord will be first link down in the description below. Otherwise, enjoy the games. Well, we'll jump into the games for episode four. We got chicken lung... Uh, fried pickle guy and okay there we go he looks like he's just gonna miss so i'm just gonna assume he's missing and try to try to sneak one in not able to get it so i'm just gonna rotate through and get back as quick as possible uh teammates double commit i'll go for this one because i'm on the left okay he wants to go that's fine rotate off as quick as possible try to grab boost nice we get it we're right around the field this ball looks like it's coming to me i'm just gonna try to hit hard off the wall and maybe I can get a follow-up. Once it's behind me, that's fine. I'm just going to move through and look for demos. Just be a nuisance. My team's all committed, so I'm going to try to keep the ball in, not commit too hard, and continue to, uh, continue to rotate through. Notice how I'm just continuing to rotate in my circles around the field. Once I see he's got it, fine. This isn't a threatening position. I'll rotate off the ball, let my teammate go. Move around the back corner for boost, so that way I'm ready for the clear. And we're much safer that way. I'm going to play behind my teammate here. Nice. Just because he's taking it out. And I want to be there to back up. I don't really see anything coming from this, so I kind of want to wait back. This ball should come down to the center. I can maybe get up and go for a shot. Almost. A little bit weak. My teammate's going to get a nice clear there, so I'm going to turn back in. We do have a numbers advantage here, so I want to kind of be aggressive. Teammate's going to cut me off. That's fine. Almost works. I move back a little there in panic. That's okay. He'll hit this ball out. Just going to get two jumps to get up to the ball in time. It looks like he has me beat. So once he gets that beat, I'm going to go back and just play it safe. Let my teammates go. Yes, you can go for this. Like, yes, I could have gone for that ball there. But what touch would I likely make? It probably wouldn't be a good one. My teammate's got a better angle. It makes more sense if you're in solo queue, like at least at this rank, to just get behind him. As you're in the higher ranks, yes, you need to go more, but in these ranks, you really shouldn't. It's better to just be the one back and just be safe. My shots aren't even good, but just by keeping pressure, we're in such a better position. Waiting back, oh my gosh. That's a heck of a pinch. I'm going to get around, though. Clear to the corner. Almost scary, but we'll be all right. Keep rotating through. Get back corner. I see nobody's back. Sweet. We get a nice clear. I can move up the field. Wait for my team to clear. Just be the one back, because everybody's upfield right now. I'd rather just be the one back here. Continue to wait back. Let them clear it. My whole team's up, so there's no good in me going. It's better to just wait back. Be here. And be able to make it clear when the time's right. Be able to push it to the center. And we al almost get a goal out of it. I'm going to move around, grab boost. Once again, my entire team's up. So I'm just going to play back. I just want to be the one back. Ready to keep the pressure on when the time comes. They'll get a nice clear. That's totally fine. Team should be back. Nice save. I have time to grab boost and move back post. Cover the net. You might have a shot here. Gonna have to use a little bit of reaction time. The teammate will get a good clear off the wall. It's a nice play. We'll play back here. It looks like he might get a boom. He doesn't. Great. We'll play back. Teammate wants to go, so I'll play back. That's not. That's fine. Teammates are still going, so I'll play back. Now, it looks like he's not gonna have much here, so I can kind of get in the way. Nobody's back here, so I check my team. I realize, hey, I have to play ball. I go for the ball. He looks like he might have a shot, so I'm just going to watch net. Because I'm rotating back post and I'm sticking front post, I'm able to make that save pretty easily. 
Time that up bounce, and my teammate will get a nice shot. Hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this is helpful, chat. Let me know if it. Let me know if it is. We're gonna go for kickoff. Rotate to the side here. See, both of my teammates are up. So once again, play back. Play back as much as possible. Not committing too far. He looks like he might boom it. So play him back. Then once the ball comes to me, I can try to keep up the pressure. I probably don't have a good hit here. So I'm just going to rotate out. Like, yes, I could make, I could go for an air dribble or something like that. But I'm just going to assume you can't. So it's better to go back, wait in the center, be able to make a powerful touch when the time comes. Thought my teammate would hit that. And that's going to be better. He goes for an air dribble. That's fine. Just way back. Focus on rotating through the play. Going around. Play back because nobody's back here. Rather be the one back. He's looking for a demo. So I just use a little bit of boost to get out of the way. And there's a lot of, you know, question mark here. So I'm just going to play back. Well, allow me to get it up. I can maybe go for one two here just go for a simple shot not going for an air dribble or anything you probably should go for an air dribble in that case but i'm just going to try to hit it up once then go for a shot and i can play back could be a little more aggro there but no real reason to let them bring the play to us i'm just going to challenge high that should be game one there we go all right, we're getting into game two here. I'm going to cheat up here. Looks like one guy's AFK. What a clear. He looks like he's coming at it from the side, so I'm just going to focus on getting a beat. And... All right, step one if you want to rank up, guys. You want to start the match playing it, ideally. Ideally, you want to start the match in-game gonna jump off the wall here and get back <laughs> all right now the game has commenced let's get it just gonna wait back here because everybody's rotating up he looks like he's probably gonna have it first so i'm just gonna play back use my boost to clear it to the side get it off the wall put it into an awkward spot i don't think he's gonna be able to do anything i might be able to get a demo there i am and my teammate should get a shot nice so the main thing there is i'm i'm using the wall to like it, it's kind of like you have to pre like, it's okay to hit the ball hard off your wall if it's going to put it in, like, a sidewall or a corner or somewhere safe. You don't want to hit it off the corner and recenter it to him as you're moving back. And that's what, that's what I'm focused on there. Should be able to make a soft touch here. Want to try to flick it around the one. Not able to get a great play there. I'm going to call that my bad. I tried to cut this ball to the right, um, and I don't get around it enough. We'll go for this. Flip into it. Teammate's going to get beat, but I think my other guy should have it. Nice. Looks like this might come across. Nope, it doesn't. It's fine. I'm just going to focus on playing wide here in case it does come center. Nice. I'm back post. Very easy to save. He'll hit it across. I'm going to move back here because I haven't seen my teammates go in a while. I think it's their turn to go. I'm not, you know, positive, but... Going to get one touch up. Air roll. Try to follow it. And get back once I realize all my teammates are up. Play off the wall here, looking for a center. He'll hit it by me. That's fine. Just rotate wide once it's by me. He'll get a big boom. I'm going to do a lap back and then turn. That'll allow me to follow it up. Just going to keep, keep flipping. Trying to center that ball. Center it a little too fast. That move that I did there is a little mechanical, but it's just... That's my bad. I, I could have been back post ready for that. I pushed up too far. Violated my own principles. Jumping and air rolling to land on the wall. Very useful when you're upfield. Very, very useful. Especially in threes. So that is a little bit mechanical, but... He'll hit this off to the corner. I'm pretty sure my teammate has a better touch. So, you know, I'll just play back. I'll let him go. He's going to play it out to the middle. I kind of want to shut down that angle. Once I realize he's there, I might have a shot. Just trying to wait back. There's a lot of chaos here. Don't want to commit. Just trying to grab boost in the meantime and wait for a ball to come center. It looks like he has it. I'm just trying to delay time, grab boost, cause chaos in there on their side of the field. That'll almost lead to a goal. I see nobody's going here. So I'm able to follow it up. Don't get the best shot. But potentially it'll lead to something. Just keep trying to keep the pressure up. 
Teammate looks like he has it. Want to move there. My teammate probably has a better shot behind me, so I'll let him go. That's fine. He doesn't score it. I'll rotate back. Just trying to keep the pressure up here. I'm going to cover high here. Just because if he does go low, my teammate should have it pretty easily in that scenario. So I'm just trying to cover it in case it goes off the backboard too quick. I'll come off the wall hard. I want a challenge here, but there's really no play. So I'm just trying to force move through. Keep my rotation nice and wide. So that way the net's in front of me. Sweet. It goes over. That's fine. Now I'll play the other back post. Now I'm here. Now we have a big manpower advantage here. Hoping this bounces center so I can go up. Maybe go for a shot. Get a couple double commits. Not quite. I'll just keep rotating through, grabbing boost. This ball comes center. I want to try to play quick there. I'm able to get a demo just because I see how much pressure we're, we're wearing on him. Able to get back just slightly. Try to go for a low 50 once the ball gets out too far in front of me. And now I'm just going to take this back. My teammate probably has a better angle, so I'll let him go. That's fine. Get bopped around, so I'll rotate back post. And just wait till it comes center. It's a good demo from him catching me. Not being far enough upfield. My teammate might have an open there. Nice. We're able to equalize. Let's see if we can uh, pull through on this game. Ball come center here. I'm going to jump because I'm I'm cheating up to kick off. I got a force there or something. I'm a little nervous here. Once I see my teammate get bumped, that's fine. Rotate back post. And I see nobody back here, so I'm just going to try to guard my net. Use a single jump to hit it forward. And just try to keep it away from my side of the field. All right. We're safe. Into OT. And cheat up. Teammate gets a nice beat. Gonna wait back here. Not sure what's gonna happen. Wanna be there for a center. My teammate booms it hard. That's fine. I'm gonna try to get back. He's gonna pass it back to me. I'll hit it high off the backboard. At least make it awkward. My teammate's got a better follow up there potentially. Almost. And they are panicking hard. So I kinda wanna keep pressure here if I can. Gonna focus on grabbing boost. Nobody's here. And we're able to squeeze a shot in. And that'll be game two. But we're on to game three. Ball will come here. I can maybe get a cut to the right and then try to play it around the one. Not able to quite get a shot, but just going to keep moving through the play. Try to grab boost and then come back to the center of the field. See a ton of people going here, so I'm just going to rotate back. Focus on grabbing my corner boost and then hitting the ball high and awkward for him. See both my teammates go, so I'm just going to wait back here. I can kind of push up because there's nobody on this ball. Maybe go for a shot. Almost able to get it in. Not quite. He wants to bump me. That's totally fine. We get a 50. And maybe even potentially score this. Nice shot. He's going to hit the ball over to the right. I'm gonna just going to try to get a 50 there. Maybe I can move through. Get a demo. Once I can't, I'm grabbing boost and getting out. Now the ball's going to come over to my side of the field. I'm going to look for an infield pass here. Um, just because I don't have enough power to get the shot on the net. And I'm hoping maybe one of my teammates is there. Fine. We're not able to get it. Just play back. It looks like he's looking for a demo. I'm just going to play back. Once I realize everybody on their team is committed, now I want to go for a potential play. And we're able to... Oh! I, I, almost able to get a goal, I was going to say, but it works. It's just about slight direction changes. I'm going to play back here. My teammates are up. Now it's my turn to go. I'm going to stay under it to get a boom. He kind of centers it for me. Maybe I can get a demo. Not able to get one, but I'm just going to keep rotating through once my time's up. Teammate looks like he might be able to keep getting 50s. Nice work. Ball will come to me. I'm just going to hit it up. Maybe I can get a bump on him once I realize that he was uh, coming through. We'll play wide around. Wait for my teammates to come. Maybe they can get a center. Like This guy's looking for a demo on me, but he needs to be guarding his net, bro. Like Your, your net is not safe. I'm just going to try to boom it past one. Not commit too hard and keep rotating through. Look for demos. Never over committing. Way back. 
He almost gets it. I want to go, but there's too much chaos here. Need to wait till it's a little, little less chaos. See my teammate in net, so I'm kind of waiting at midfield, waiting to see what happens. Once I see a miss, then I rotate back. I'm going to try to rotate wide around. That way, if that ball does come down, I'm ready to get it. Now I can maybe go for a shot. Not the strongest, but it'll work. I'm going to just focus on rotating behind, getting around my team here. And yes, I could maybe go, but there's just a lot of, lot of question marks. So I'd rather take my time, control the ball, be able to play it by him, try to keep it safe. We'll rotate all the way around here, stay back when I'm not sure what's going on. Get under it, get it clear. Move forward. It looks like he might have a boom, so I wait back. It looks like they might have this. So I'm just kind of moving through. And then getting behind my behind my team after they play it by me. This is a little bit dangerous. I don't like having this ball here, so I'm gonna jump. Um, luckily he does get a touch, which is great. I'm gonna wait till he's going and get a touch over. This is right on me, so I gotta kinda keep hitting it. I mean they keep hitting it right at me, so I gotta keep hitting it. Could have scored that. And it looks like he might have a boom here. So notice I'm going to go wide around. Oh, I see him going for a shot. That'll be good. My initial instinct is to move kind of wide around to get a save. Once he is up here, there's, I mean, there's not much I can do in that situation. If I go up instantly, I might be able to save it. I'll say my bad. We'll cheat up here. Hit off the wall. Able to make one touch. I'm just going to try to follow it through. Nothing crazy. Air rolling a little bit and just driving through the ball. That almost goes in. Oh my gosh. Playback. Gonna use one jump to clear the ball. Once I realize I'm low boost, my time's kind of up. I'm trying to rotate back and get boost. Play safe. Rotate wide around. No rush to hitting this ball hard. Just trying to play it by him. I hear somebody behind me. I'm gonna go for a flick. I'm going to be first, so I'll let it, let it come. Time the bounce. And do my thing. Play behind him. Just keep the pressure on. Got to watch it clear here. Should be fine. Going to let it come to the side. Get one touch over. I'm just going to try to let this die. And that'll be game. Moral of the story is like, you can still get by just playing a safer third man um, of course at this rank people are going to start converting a little bit more when they're near your net so if the ball's high in the air near your net you can't give them quite as much space you got to shut things down but all the same stuff applies and you can kind of see like you could still get through champ one with just power shots good rotations and maybe a couple flicks here and there that will be the end of episode four and like, subscribe, join the Discord. It's completely free. And DM me if you're interested in coaching or want some more help. We can have a chat over DMs about all that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.